这个前胸肉，牛的前胸肉 brisket 啊，在美国已经流行了好多年。这个前胸肉，前胸肉最有名的就是用在牛肉的 barbecue 里面啊，在很多很多卖 barbecue 的店都是利用这一块肉。Uh, 来处理 The most common method that we see for cooking、uh, brisket in the United States is、uh, smoking it, so very low heat、uh, for very long period of time. 哦、uh, ，在美国最流行的这个烹调的方式啊， uh, 就是把它烟熏，利用很长的时间、很慢、很低的温度、长时间低的温度来处理 And the reason for that is is because briskets are pretty tough. <laughs> 啊，那当然，最主要的原因就是因为前胸肉啊，它相对的它比较这个坚硬啊，不像前面我们介绍的这个那么的柔软。So the brisket comes from is kind of that muscle between the front two legs of the steer.、Uh, you get two of these briskets off of every carcass that you get in the United States, and so because That is a muscle that's associated with the movement or the the movement of the front legs of that animal. There's a lot of connective tissue that builds up in these muscles, and because of that, it can be pretty tough. Ah, this it this piece of meat is a bit weak. The reason is because its position is in the front of the animal's head. So, when the animal is moving, it is also moving. So, this piece of meat has a lot of connective tissue that builds up in these muscles. So, when the animal is moving, it is also moving. So, this piece of meat has a lot of connective tissue. And so on the brisket, there's really two main portions or two main muscles、uh, that come from this whole packer brisket. You've got this thinner, kind of leaner portion right here that's、uh, referred to as the brisket flat, and then underneath of it, you've got this bigger, kind of thicker muscle with more fat in it that's referred to as the brisket point. 好，这一块前胸肉实际上也有两个部分。一个部分呢，就是这个前胸的板肉啊，这 brisket flat。另外一个呢，就是前胸的脚尖肉啊，它分成这两个部分。那前胸的脚尖肉呢，它所含的脂肪量啊，相对的就比较高。And so you can utilize these muscles in a couple different ways. In the U.S., more often than not, we use the entire brisket. Uh, and like I said, it's usually used as like a smoking type application, cooking it at about 100 degrees C for about eight hours. 好，这个我刚刚介绍的这个前胸肉，你可以就像这样子完全不处理了，整块的放到熏烟室里面，利用大概一百度 C 摄氏的温度，八个小时的时间处理。But there's you can pretty easily. Go in and remove the brisket flat and the brisket point from one another, and utilize those muscles in maybe a little bit different way. 好，那现在我要示范的就是把这个板肉，还有前前胸的这个尖角肉，很容易就把它分开了。然后分开以后呢，我们就可以用不同的烹调的方式来处理。And so you can come in here with a knife. And basically, just cut this brisket almost right in half,、um, and from that, this this brisket point only goes about halfway down the back of that、uh, of this entire cut. So you can cut this about right here, and then you'll separate off and have a, a good piece of brisket flat and a good piece of brisket point. Ah, 那很简单的就是拿把刀，大概从中间的位置把它切开，因为这个前胸的这个绞肉大概只有到前胸一半的位置。所以中间一刀就可以把这两块肉很清楚的分开。But there's also kind of a natural seam that runs between these two muscles. You can kind of see that as I pry this big piece of fat here. But you can kind of see where the natural seam is. And if you want to go in there and be just a little bit more delicate with the knife, then you can pull the flat off the top, and then you still got the the entire brisket point that sits down below it. 啊，刚刚介绍的一刀分开是最简单的，但是如果要更精致的切法的话，你可以看得到这个板肉跟前尖角肉之间呢，它是有一个很明显的这个区隔的。所以说你要很精致的就把这个从它的缝隙之间把这两块肉分开啊，更精致的一个切法。So in terms of how you prepare a muscle like this, there is some fat trim that's associated with it. Because as you can see, there's a big kind of fat seam up here at the top of the the brisket flat, and if you look at the back,、um, there's all this external surface fat that's on the back there.
。好，这块前胸肉呢，各位可以看得到，相对的它的脂肪的包覆就比较多。盖在刚刚这个脚尖跟板肉之间有脂肪，然后另外翻过来呢，在背部也有很大量的脂肪。And so you can come in here and remove this surface fat.、Uh, you can remove it all the way down to the muscle、um, if you want it a little bit leaner.、Um, I like to leave maybe like、uh, about maybe a half a centimeter or a centimeter's worth of fat on there,、uh, just to give it a little bit of extra flavor and a, and a little bit of extra texture,、uh, fat texture on the outside of that muscle. OK， 所以各位可以开始把它外面所覆盖的脂肪把它去除，但是不是完全的去除，大概留零点五到一公分的厚度，让这个肉呢有特殊的脂肪的风味，还有一些脂肪的这个组织。So we'll get some of this surface fat removed here. 我们把这个表面的脂肪哈移除，大概留个一公分的厚度左右。If you flip forward one more on the slide, you can kind of see. 下一张 Yeah, where you can make that additional cut、uh, to come in and and remove.、Uh, 好，下一张可以看得到，各位就可以看得到这个分开这个肉的啊，另外一条这个啊线的一个地方 And if you look, you can kind of see it right here where I just pulled this fat off. You can see that this brisket point muscle has got a lot of marbling in it. You can see there's a tremendous amount of marbling in that, whereas on this brisket flat, it's quite a bit leaner of a of a piece of meat. 好，这两块肉最大的差异当然是因为前胸的脚尖肉含有大量的这个肌肉内的脂肪啊，就是一般我们讲的霜降雪花。那肌这个前胸的这个板肉呢，相对的就是比较瘦的一块肉啊，没有那么多的霜降在里面。And so that's why the the brisket point is actually probably for your purposes maybe a little bit better of a muscle just because it's got great fat flavor in it、um, and it works、uh, can work pretty reasonably well for more of like a thin sliced application versus you know cooking it as an entire whole muscle. 呃，所以这个前胸的这个脚尖肉哈，这个可能如果各位喜欢更强的牛肉的霜降的风味的话，前胸脚尖肉会让各位更加的满意This, so this is your very kind of roughly cut brisket,、uh, brisket flat here. 好，这个就是这个前胸的板肉。And again, you want to make sure that you get all this, trim the surface fat down on the back here, nice and tight, because there can be quite a bit of it. 呃，把这个前胸板肉所覆盖的脂肪哈，把它拿掉。And while I said that the the brisket flat is is quite a bit leaner and doesn't have nearly as much marbling as the point does, doesn't mean that it's a cut that doesn't have any marbling at all. There's still some、uh, some good marbling in this muscle, but it is just going to be、um, a little bit leaner、uh, on the inside, and at the same time, because of that, is going to be just a little bit tougher、uh, than what your brisket point is going to be.
，相较之下，这个前胸的板肉虽然没有像前胸的脚尖肉那么多的霜降，可是呢，它的里面还是有一定含量的霜降。那这个如果讲它的软硬来讲，它的这个呃稍微的啊、呃、这个硬一点点。Yeah, and you can see kind of a cross cut of that section. It's a fairly lean, uh, fairly lean piece of beef, and and this is one. This brisket flat is one where is probably not super ideal for for like a thin slicing, just because it does have some connective tissue in it. And so when you thin slice it, you uh, cook it on a really high heat type of application. It's going to kind of bunch up and crinkle up, and and not going to have nearly as nice a presentation. 好，这个还是有一些的这个霜降，但是没有办法跟这个脚尖比。然后就是因为它所含的里面的这个胶原蛋白结缔组织的量比较高，所以如果你切薄片来处理的话呢，呃，可能得到的结果不会很满意哈。是这各位如果要用薄片处理的话要注意。But if you cook this muscle low and slow,、um, On kind of a like either a moist heat or like I said in the United States we love to smoke these. Then that connective tissue will break down. You give this plenty of time to cook and it'll be a really nice tender kind of fall apart piece of meat that that's got really really good beef flavor. 好，那这块肉呢，它这个最流行的一个烹调的方式就是用湿热。或者我们刚刚介绍熏腌啊，长时间的低温的方式，那这样子的话就会让这个胶原蛋白变化啊，胶原蛋白在长时间加热的时候，它的胶原蛋白会变成胶质，所以这块肉它会呈现像到入口即化的那个地步。And that's probably one of the best things about a brisket is that, to me, there is no better muscle on the entire carcass for having just really excellent, strong kind of beef flavor than the brisket. Because、uh, you get all that collagen in there, you get some lean, and you get some fat. You cook that really slow, and all those flavors come together to just be a really, really delicious piece of beef. Ah,、uh, 对我来讲啊，这个牛肉的这个前胸肉呢。它经过长时间的蒸煮，这个肌肉的这个转变，它有适当的脂肪，然后呢，所有的味道都集在这个里面，所以它是一个超级牛肉风味强的一块分切。So if you flip the slide forward real quick, you can see that on this muscle, the you always want to cut across the muscle fibers, and so、um, the muscle fibers. Kind of run diagonally、uh, across this piece of meat here,、um, and so when you do that, you want to make sure that you're cutting it across it. I've already kind of screwed it up just a little bit, but make sure you're cutting across that diagonal, those diagonal muscle fibers. Ah,、uh, so, 各位特别要注意的就是你在切这个前胸板肉的时候呢，你要切断它的纤维。所以呢，你要先判断纤维的走向，就像那个蓝色那条线。然后你要顺着这个蓝色的线，用垂直的方式把它切开啊，就是把纤维切断。So I'm cutting this into into thinner slices just for demonstration purposes, but really in order to get the best eating experience、uh, out of this, you definitely want to cook it、uh, on a on a low and slow application. 啊，我切成薄片只是为了示范它的纤维的走向啊。这个真的要蒸煮，这个薄片可能。I'm not sure if you can zoom in so you can see this on this little slice that I just cut here. Yeah, you sure can.、Yep. You see how coarse the muscle fibers are on that.、Um, those big kind of lumps in that muscle, and that's kind of an indication that there's going to be some connective tissue. And but like I said, if you cook it slow, that'll all cook right out of it, and it'll be delicious. 呃，可以可以看到各位，这个肌肉纤维很粗，像一颗一颗凸出来的粒子一样。这个就是代表它里面含有高量的胶原蛋白，啊，就是筋腱膜的部分。所以呢，我刚刚特别讲了，如果你用低温长时间的话，就可以把这个胶原蛋白转化成胶质，啊，那那个时候啊，这个风味啊，这个它的嫩度就会变得很棒很棒。All right, let's look at this brisket point here. 好，我们来看一看这个脚尖的部分。So like I said, you've got quite a bit of fat that you need to trim off just because there's that that natural seam that runs between the flat and the point, and there's a lot of fat that builds up in there.
。好，那刚刚跟脚尖相连的地方呢，它这个地方也有一些的这个脂肪，所以你相对的要把这个脂肪去除。But when you cook this as a whole brisket, like I showed you before, before I started hacking away at it here, it's all that fat that's in between those two muscles that kind of seeps down into the muscle and creates just delicious, delicious flavor. 好，那我刚刚一开始介绍，各位可以把这一个前胸肉整块的去处理。那那个时候呢，这个夹在两块肌肉中间的这个脂肪，在蒸煮的过程就会很充分的加强。肉的风味啊，这个脂肪来讲是增加肉风味一个最重要的因素。And so that's really one of the big pros of of cooking a brisket whole is because while you do have a lot of fat in there, when you can cook them together, cook the two whole pieces together, and you get that additional fat in there, it's gonna just really kind of melt together and 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 make kind of that just buttery melt in your mouth beef flavor. 啊，这个。两两块肉之间的这个脂肪在蒸煮的时候呢，这个脂肪溶解了以后，就会加强瘦肉的风味。那感觉上就像这个肉在你的这个口腔里面就会溶解掉一样，变得特别好吃啊。So、get a little more of the surface fat off the back side of this. 好，把表面翻过来，把表面的脂肪啊也做一些移除。Like I said, it doesn't hurt to leave. Doesn't hurt to leave a little bit back there if you just want a little bit of extra, um, you know, fat texture on the back side of that cut. 啊，就像我刚刚讲的，这个脂肪也不用把它剃得太干净，留个零点五到一公分啊。Okay, so you can see, if you look at that brisket point, there is a lot of fat in there, a lot of marbling, and a lot of delicious, delicious flavor in that piece of meat. 好，有很多的双酱，双酱代表的就是牛肉好的风味啊。And you can see the muscle fibers, just real obvious. They run right across like that. You can also see it up there on the picture. And so because of that, you want to slice. If you do use this for a slicing, or if you you cook it and then you slice it, then you just want to cut across these muscle fibers like that. 好，我们可以看得到肌肉的走向啊。同样，我将刚刚讲的，就是要切断啊这个肌肉的纤维。So let's cut into this just to show you how much delicious, high-quality beef marbling is in here. 啊，我切进去，各位就可以看得到这个多好的高品质的双酱啊，这个肌肉内的脂肪在这一个前胸的脚尖肉里面。Yeah, so if you look at that right there, a tremendous amount of beef fat, and so that's going to be, um, you can use this as more of a thin slice, and it's it's going to work um, a lot better than that brisket, um, that brisket flatwood, just because you're going to have a ton of juiciness and a ton of flavor in here, um, and uh, not nearly as much uh, kind of natural connective tissue uh, as you have in the other piece of the brisket. 啊，跟刚刚的这个前胸板肉来相较，大家可以看得到，这个你就可以做薄片的处理。如果做薄片的处理，会得到相对的啊，比这个前胸板肉好很好的效果。还看到这个双酱在里面，在蒸煮的时候，哦，美味、多汁都在这个地方。With that said, if you do cook this either as a whole muscle or you cut this like in a two to three centimeter type of steak. More of a steak type application. It still does have that kind of natural connective tissue and toughness in it. So when you cook it as a whole muscle, you still have to cook it low temperature for a long period of time, so you can kind of melt that collagen and that connective tissue away. 好，这个虽然有那么多的双酱，可是呢，它的胶原蛋白含量还是相对的比较高。所以各位请注意，如果你是整块的肉在处理的时候。一定要用低温湿热、长时间的方式来处理，啊，也就是要把胶原蛋白做一个转换，让它变成胶质。If you slice it thin, it's not nearly as much of a problem. But if you're if you're cooking it as a thicker cut steak or as a whole muscle, you got to go low temperature, long period of time, low and slow. 好，这个如果是切薄片，相对的问题就不大。啊，如果是比较厚片的话，就请注注意我刚刚讲的，要用低温长时间的方式来处理。